Now we know that snow and ice are still on the road, of course, due to these freezing temperatures. And you're probably seeing snow plows out treating the roads this morning. And this morning, Ryan Overton from WashDOT joins us now on the phone. Good morning, Ryan. We know WashDOT has been very busy over the last 24 hours plus, really, because we know you started treating the roads yesterday. We're not seeing a lot of snow on I-90 in the Spokane metro area, but out west, it looks like they're still receiving some snow. What's happening right now? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Tim. Good morning, Channing. It is, uh, it's very cold out there. You know, we saw the snow, while not significant uh, amount of accumulation, you know, that two to three inches, the cooling temperatures overnight to drop well below freezing, and now the wind's starting to pick up. Uh, you mentioned west of I-90. That's kind of one of our trouble spots, Highway 2 as well. Uh, due to the drifting snow, we get it pushed back, and it just continues to kind of blow back over the roadways. Um, we've also got some areas of drifting snow down on 195 towards the Idaho state line, a little bit south of Pullman. Uh, those exposed routes even further to the east on I-90, kind of towards Liberty Lake. All those spots this morning all seeing a little bit of uh, blowing and drifting snow, but tr crews are doing their best to, to keep it clear and, and treat those roadways as uh, we get started on the morning commute. Now, Ryan, are there any other trouble spots that people should be aware of this morning as they're heading out? You know, really the entire inland northwest with those temperatures dropping so quickly as they did, it's really hard to get the snow up off the roadways. We're going to probably be in this compact snow and ice with areas of uh, snow on the roadways, the shoulders now for the next couple of days. The product that we use is only effective down to you know, about 15 degrees or so. Sometimes with the sun coming out, we can get away with uh, maybe a couple degrees cooler than that. But now it's going to be turning to, you know, putting traction down on the roadways, making sure that uh, there is enough traction on the road to uh, keep people moving safely throughout the inland northwest. But drivers need to be aware and be responsible and go slow, you know, take it easy on ice and snow and uh, travel safely. Allow extra travel time to get to your destination. Some good advice. Ryan Overton with the Washington State Department of Transportation. Appreciate your time this morning and appreciate what your crews are doing to keep everyone safe.